if I refresh you'll see that we have our div elements but they're not acting correct so within content I'm gonna leave that one open just in case I ever want to add anything to it it's a good idea to pre-build your um, any styling you might want even if there's nothing in it you might be able to or you might want to come back and add something and it'll just be neater um, to do it as you're going down through the first time than to add it afterwards at the end of the page alright so content dot highlight and then we'll set the width to the highlight which will apply to all three uh, div tags to 33% oops forgot to add my width in there there we go that looks a little better uh, we'll also do a float left so that way they go entirely across and then one thing I didn't add which I should have I'm just gonna copy and paste my style on there so I don't lose anything save that is I should have wrapped each of these in another div tag and I'll show you why that is um, if I go back over here and I click on this and I want to add a padding so that way um, I can get that nice space right here so I can add the line and it's not right up against the edge if I want to do that and I wanted to do uh, spacing around everything you'll see that it automatically pushes it down but if I wrap my highlight in another or if I put a div tag within my highlight div tag then you'll notice that it uh, it'll apply the change correctly so I'll do div Oops, close that one and do the same thing here there we go and now if I come back out here and refresh and now edit this I'll have to create another element here but now I add my padding of 1EM it does it correctly and then while I'm here I'm also going to add my class of border underscore LR which will only apply borders to left and right so I'm going to do border dash left one pixel solid and we'll do a dark gray copy that line, whoops, and then change this to right, since it's the same thing. Alright, copy this, paste it into my style sheet, and then change this one, because I have my class highlight, and now I want to apply a secondary class to this, I'll just do border LR, and if I save this and refresh the page, it takes on that border, those borders. Um, so you can do just specialized classes so that way you can uh, just do like one element or one attribute for that class and then you can apply it to different things. Uh, so that makes things a little more reusable. Um, one thing I do want to do while I'm here is add more or margin spacing to each of these highlight elements. We'll do top of 1EM and 0EM everywhere else. There we go. This gives us a little bit of space. And the last thing I'm going to do is add in my footer before. Oops, not border background. and then I'm just going to reuse uh, the blue from the top since they both match and re whoops, repeat X top left and then you won't see anything take effect here because I don't have anything in my footer right now um, but I'm just going to copy and paste my style into my style sheet save it go into my footer and then the nice thing about lists is you don't really have to change anything you, all you have to do is just copy and paste this into your footer uh, save 
and I have found a good way of doing this, but it takes, it is rather confusing, and some people might be like, well, why are you doing it that way? Um, so I'm just going to do a simple way of doing my footer here, and then I'm also going to add in my uh, copyright statement. 2010, all right, whoops, right, reserved Hewitt Media Designs. All right, so now our HTML is all set. Refresh and you'll see, it takes on, uh, doesn't have any styling to it yet. So we're down to the bottom of the page. Footer, background, URL. I'm just going to copy this. Ah, I know why. Right. Edit this. I never applied any float value to my footer. And then clear left, so that way it bumps below everything else. And then I also have to apply 100% width value to it. There we go. That looks a little better. Um, and then also while I'm here, add a text align center value to this. So that way it centers everything. Um, Another thing I forgot, color. Color everything to white. Uh, float lift. Actually, no. set padding to zero pixels, margin to zero pixels. Um, and then we'll do our list element. Actually, I'm not going to do the float uh, display line. Padding of 1 EM. Um, border left 1 pixel solid white. I'm going to change this to margin. There we go, that's a little better. Um, I just needed to add that zero spacing for the top and the bottom attribute. For you all. And then I'm just going to do my border anchor Oops. a little bit darker get rid of my text decoration And then finally, I just need to add one, so that way I do have some rollover effect when I hover over these. Just put an underline and set the color to white, so that way we get this white rollover effect and sets it apart from everything else. Um, while I'm here, I'm actually going to go back up to where my header is where I took out, where I set that borders none attribute. And I'm just going to put a comma and then set my footer one. So you can actually um, assign multiple elements the same styling. So footer ul li dot border none. And that gets rid of that. And our thing is just about done. Copy it and then we'll. Styles 
paste it, save it, and then I'll refresh the page. And that is our page. Um, those of you who have any questions, please send them to me. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Hopefully this video wasn't a little too boring. Um, I'm a little tired today. I had a long night last night, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. And if it needs to be redone, I will redo this video. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Take care.